check engine light come on today you know so i already know what it is i'm gonna go and grab the part and then i'll pop back in to let y'all know the progress man and check the uh the code just showing you guys engine light is on. all right so right now we're gonna start off with the flathead screwdriver to pull uh the safety pin out If it never been removed, might take a little, uh, little effort to get it off. So don't be afraid, you won't break it. Now we're gonna remove the wiring harness. I grabbed it from the sides. I did find it easier to get it off by, by doing that. So just try it from the side. Now I'm gonna put the wire and harness under the engine cover just so it can stay out the way. And we're moving forward with the T15 start bit to unscrew the screws. I'm just holding the screw while untwisting it so we won't lose the screw in the engine bank. And then once the screw is removed, you just literally pull the... Once removed, the airflow sensor just comes right out. So you remove it and just go to clean it, you know? Hopefully. All right, cut it. Right here, I'm just explaining... Uh, pretty much all the parts you need and everything. everything need. So if you don't want to watch this, just skip to 234 for the cleaning process. To get the clip out. And then this is what you need to get these screws out in the bit is a T15, which you will need for the Chevy Malibu a T15. And we're gonna be cleaning it with this stuff right here. So I'll let you know the progress. I'll be right back. And now we just uh, we just spray it down. Uh, this is like a quick uh, drying type of spray. So I did give it an, an, a nice spray. Um, don't be afraid. Uh, but I do got a towel right there, so I won't spray the table. I don't know what it'll do to wood. And uh, I just wipe everything down. If you just want to skip to the reinstalling part just go to 346 different I've never seen so much open now right there mm -hmm. yep I'm doing this shit at the opposite way like if I was that way it probably I would have clicked in my head already <laughs> that's the left hand shit I would have thought I'd already been doing work on this car. Even though this ain't really work, but it's working.
Once the clip in, you just go and it starts the car. Now, I did run into a small thing where the engine light was still on, but then all you do is just turn the car back off and then turn it back on and it should go off. Now, if it doesn't, you might need to just replace it, but if that's not the case, to help me.